Hello everyone and welcome to the Fry Smiles Oral Health Network. I'm your host Scott Fry and we're going to be starting a short series on the show on dentin hypersensitivity. And for those of you out there who are not certain what dentin hypersensitivity is, I have found a fantastic quote from a renowned dental committee somewhere in the world describing dentin hypersensitivity as, and I quote, short sharp pain arising from exposed dentin in response to stimuli typically thermal, evaporative, tactile, osmotic, or chemical, and which cannot be ascribed to any other dental defect or pathology. So other than being a whole bunch of words, what that's really saying is that as we grow and mature into adulthood, and a lot of us have some gum recession, which will then in turn expose the root structure, which we refer to as dentin. That is the predominant substance that makes up our roots. On these roots are these small little pores that we call dentin tubules. And in response to either hot or cold, uh, osmotic pressures, uh, tactile pressures like a fingernail up against the root of the tooth, um, there's fluid moving inside those tubules of pores and that fluid movement causes pain. And really your dentist needs to make this diagnosis because all sorts of other pathologies or defects need to be ruled out first because not everybody who has exposed dentin has pain. And you need two things actually to have dentin hypersensitivity. The first one is the exposed dentin which we like to call lesion localization which fancy term for exposed root structure or dentin. And secondly, what we found with a lot of these electron microscope studies is that the structure of sensitive dentin is fundamentally different from that of unsensitive dentin. So there's a protein layer that typically covers over your root structure and covers over these tubes and prevents the movement of fluids in and out and therefore prevents pain. So when this protein uh, layer is removed in what's called lesion initiation, that's when you'll be experiencing pains from any uh, number of different stimuli. And things that will go ahead and remove that layer are things like uh, significant abrasion from toothbrushing, um, certain procedures uh, dentally can cause that temporarily. Also some erosive foods, in particular a lot of erosive drinks, can remove that protein layer as well and activate those areas of root structure and making them extremely sensitive for a lot of people. So what we're going to explore in the next couple of posts is basically this second part and how you can go ahead and make different choices at home and with your diet to go ahead and preserve that protein layer and make sure that the pain and sensitivity that you've been diagnosed as having with your dentist, which is very important, doesn't become a problem for your lifestyle. So I hope you guys tune in and I'll see you next week. Take care.